Willie McBean and His Magic Machine is an American fantasy adventure film from director Arthur Rankin Jr. that uses stop-motion animation to tell its story. It's about a boy called Willie who must invent a time machine to stop the mad Professor Von Rotten from altering history for his own benefit. Willie is joined by a South American monkey called Pablo, who had escaped from the Professor's lab to inform Willie about Von Rotten's plans. Okay, so this film doesn't really have a contemporary narrative. In fact, it's more like a series of episodes as we see Willie visit different time periods. The film also doesn't have a climax, but a simplistic ending to round it off instead, as Von Rotten is convinced to be a good guy. Is this a bad thing though? No, not at all. Watching Willie McBean and his magic machine is much like watching a marathon of cartoon clips, and it never gets repetitive. In fact, Willie's time machine even backfires at one point to take them to an entirely different conflict. This prevents the film from lagging into a mundane pattern. Willie's visits to each time period are neither too short or too long, so scenes don't drag on or feel rushed either. However, certain things may bother viewers. For starters, historical accuracy is very loose. In fact, one time period is based on the mythical legend of King Arthur's challenge to pull out Excalibur and features the existence of Merlin the Wizard. Also, the prehistoric ages have cavemen sharing their existence with dinosaurs. So, history purists may find it difficult to enjoy the film, but it's best to remember that this is a work of fantasy fiction. Another issue is that there are a lot of racial stereotypes in this film. While it did make me slightly cringe, I didn't really find these stereotypes to be that offensive. Of course, it's done in tongue-in-cheek, but sensitive viewers may be shocked at these politically incorrect depictions. Willie McBean himself is more of a tool to be pushed around through the narrative. He doesn't really have a clear personality. His backstory also seems a bit contrived. I mean, he just happens to be studying history at the time at school, and he just happens to be an inventor when he's asked to make a time machine. Really? These facts about Willie as a character seem too forced for the benefit of working with the story. However, Willie is practical, determined, and good-hearted, so he is relatively likeable. While Pablo may be a vivid racial stereotype, he is likeable and provides comic relief as well as valuable information for Willie's adventure. However, the character that steals the film is the villain himself, Professor Von Rotten, a classic theatrical antagonist that loves to commit evil and adds hilarious melodrama to every scene he's in. He cleverly adapts himself to every time period, and his motivation is unique. He wants to become an icon of history, and he tries so hard to steal the people's efforts. He is a lot of fun. The animation, well, it's questionable. I mean, it's energetic and fluid, but characters' eyes are distractingly stiff. The eyes remain consistently open, and there's no eyebrow movement above the eyes. As this limits facial range. Some mouth movement comes out a bit odd, like Pablo looks as if he's sucking a lemon, and I have no idea how General Custer's talking. It's like one big wobbling lip. The voice acting is great from all the cast, and all the characters sound different. However, the accents are a bit poor at times. Christopher Columbus in particular sounds like an American forcing gay an Italian accent from himself. It doesn't sound natural enough. The original music score isn't noticeable, but often adapts itself to each time period. There are original songs too. While most of them are pointless, they are reasonably fun to watch despite being hard to remember afterwards. I believe that the film's highlight has to be its amazing sets. Each are impressive in detail and match the time setting. I often found myself in awe over the work put into the backgrounds. Willie McBean and his magic machine is a fun little movie with an outstandingly camp villain and an understandable, simplistic storyline. Willie visits enough time periods to fit the running time and it never gets boring. Its only flaws are its cringe-worthy stereotypes, bad accents and unemotive character faces.